Bully Stories. So welcome to Bully Stories, a game challenging the stereotypes and understanding of bullying in many contexts and forms through role playing and interacting with stories pre-made. We strive to build a platform that entertains and educates users on why bullying is a worldwide issue that must be prevented. I couldn't agree more. Okay, well, here we are. We're now on this. Wait, story one? Let's actually check this out. Oh, wait, so I guess there's different stories that we can actually go to. Well, that one's not gonna work. All right, I'm gonna go in here and see where it actually takes me. Yo, I didn't even just like, I think, oh, okay, here it is. Yo, so there's different stories that you can go into. Bacon story, the main characters in this story. So we got Bacon, Destiny, Ashley, and Brittany. Don't tell me they're gonna be the mean girls. Oh no. Hello. I have a book here. Um, okay, let's check through. Yo. Okay, looks like they're here at the lockers. Brittany, oh, where is my books? Hmm. Brittany, found them. Look at how they're looking. Okay, you found your books. Later. <gasps> Yo, they're laugh. Yo, they're laughing at Bacon. And Bacon, she looks sad. Wow. <gasps> Yo! Ha! Huh, look at this nerd pushes Bacon. Ouch. Hey, that was rude. Why are you all so mean? What? She notices you. Oh, wait, she actually notices me. Hi, ugly bacon, are you okay? You see her looking at you, but you walk ahead. No, I'm gonna say, are you okay? Not really. Um, did you wanna tell me? Wait, did you want me to tell the principal? Yes, I'm a bit scared to tell him. Wait. Hmm. Okay, see you later. Bye. Wow, you can say some really mean things back. It really makes you think. Uh, help Bacon go to the principal's office? Take a shortcut and go to class. I mean, what we saw was kind of unbelievable. I would actually go to the principal's office. Hey, principal. Hey, how can I help you? Uh, saw a few girls push another girl. Can you be specific? Uh, their names were Brittany, Destiny, and Ashley. Oh, okay. Thank you for telling me. You're welcome. I really hope we didn't make this worse by saying it, though. Hey, did you tell the principal? Yes, I think he might help. Really? Thank you so much. You're the best. You're welcome, Bacon. You're welcome. Anytime. Wait. Ha! Are you the... Are you and that ugly bacon friends? Thanks. Uh, I have no time for. Yeah, and? Looks you up and down and walks away. Yeah, that's right. You better walk away. All right, we going into math class. Hmm. Bacon, Psst. come through here. I want to tell you something. What's up? So, what did you want to tell me? The bullies are being expelled in a few days. Yes! What? They're my besties. OMG, seriously? Yes, I'm so happy. OMG. Hey, look at that. All we did was tell the principal. Wait, step here to go back to the bully store. Let's go, and here it is. Don't judge people by their looks. Judge by their personality. That is so true. A lesson to learn there, a lesson to learn there. Wow, that was awesome. That was so good. You, you don't judge a book by its cover. You, you never know what someone is going through. That was a really good bully story. Uh, hopefully there's some valuable lessons in that as well. Okay, let's see what we have here. Is there another st story too? Let's check this out. All right, here we go. Let's see what's here. Bully stories. 
All right, so we have Violet, Elizabeth, Johnny, Stephanie, and Lisa. These are the main characters. Mom, have a good day, Violet. I will, Mommy. At school, Lisa, leave me alone. Elizabeth says, not until you give us your lunch money, Violet. Yo, you can't do that. You can't do that. Violet, leave her alone. Stephanie, what do you want, weirdo? And look, she's standing up for her. She's helping. They're so mean. Elizabeth says, OMG, Stephanie, is that your cousin Lisa? Uh, yeah. Ooh, Elizabeth, please get him to sit with us, Stephanie, please. We're your besties. Um, okay. But that that's not even... Thanks, Lisa. See you tomorrow, bestie. Yeah, right. Violet, hi, I'm new to the school. Is it okay if I sit with you at lunch? Yeah, of course. Wait, thanks, but are you gonna do that for them? Well, they'll bully me more if I don't. At lunch. Lisa, hi, Johnny. Johnny, hi. Some girls in my grade asked me if they could sit with you at lunch. He like, I'm just trying to enjoy my, my spinach, my mashed potatoes. Okay. Johnny, who are they? Stephanie and Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Tell them I said sure. Lisa says okay. Oh no, don't do it. They they're gonna they're gonna still bully you a few days later. Lisa? Yeah? I found out that Stephanie and Elizabeth are bullies. See? See? Oh sorry for asking if they can sit with you. It's okay. I know it's not your fault. I'm glad he realized they're bullies later that day. <gasps> We're sorry for being rude to you. Stephanie, I hope you can forgive us. Hmm. Lisa and Violet, sure. St Wait, what? Be an upstander and help others if they need. Wait, if they're in need of help. Wow. A new day, new school. Ah, I can't wait to make new friends. That's right. Yeah, look at that beautiful house back there. Excited to make new friends, huh? What do we got? I hope I don't get hit by a car. Oh, okay. Let's let's get a little bit more on the optimistic side. Look both ways before crossing the street. Okay, you'll be fine. Once Alicia arrived at school, the bully says, "Ha! Huh, looks like Fatty tripped over." Alicia says, "Shut up." Yo, that's rude. No body shaming. Wow. Really? They said it again. Yo. Are they still saying the same thing? Wait, Bully says, guys, where's Shorty and Fatty going? Yo, you all can't do that. I think they called one of them Shorty and the other one Fatty. Oh, and look, they're going in there. They're running away. They're going into the janitor's closet. What? Yep, they're in the jam. Why do I feel like the words aren't showing up? Okay, yeah, the, I don't. Th I don't think the words are showing up. We just gonna have to piece the puzzle together. Uh, I think they exchange homework or, or, or notes or something like that. Uh, she's texting as well. There's a letter. Okay, okay. She just got that. All right. Wait, later that day. Oh no. We already know she's definitely being rude to her. Oh, don't worry, Alyssa. I know this is like a new school and all, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Two days later. I hope that bully is happy. What? What? At school. Yuck. Try again, fatty. What? Not again. I think she's trying to like lose weight or something like that at school. Uh, and she's like changing her style, but they're still judging her no matter what. It's been too much for Alyssa. So Alyssa's mom organized a meeting with the principal. Look at the principal here behind, behind the, behind the Mac. 
Whoa, at home that night. Wait, what? Oh wait, is she showing a picture of the boot? That's the mom right there, maybe, I think. And she's laying in bed. This is the mom probably talking to her, giving her some inspiring words. And she's like, mom, you're the best. I love you. Thank you for the encouraging words. And here it is. Don't change who you are for someone else. It's not worth it. That's the whole sole purpose of what Big B stands for. Be yourself. You're a unique you. Wow. All right. We got Eric's story. Ah, great. I got more homework from school today. Okay, Eric. Wait, let's see your to-do list. All right, science exhibition, water the garden, do dishes, feed dog, music product, I mean music project. Look at you. All right, getting that work in. Okay, I see you, buddy. What a great way to ruin my day. Wait, why is your day ruined again? Oh, because you got, ah, uh, okay, lots to do. Lots to do. Anyways, I'm gonna play Roblox now. Yay. Wow, there's a lot of people online. Yeah, there is a lot of people online. Oh no. Hmm, but what game should I play? How about bully stories? Good idea. It's like Inception. Meanwhile, in game. Dragon Master. You are new to this game. Eric says, yeah, I don't know how to play. Oh, cool. I'll show you how to play. Hmm. After a while. Oh my gosh. I've been playing for three hours. I've got lots of homework to do. The next day at school. Mrs. Reed says, can anyone answer this question? Yo, my, my boy done brought Roblox to school. Don't tell me, yo, you, you, you can't be playing Roblox in it. Oh my, oh my days. Mrs. Reed, how about you, Eric? What's your answer? Eric, Eric. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh oh, teacher's angry. You, you had to close the laptop. Oh my goodness. Eric, is the answer one? I think he got the answer right. At home. Eric, the school just told me that you're playing Roblox in class and not doing your homework? Eric, come on. You got, you got, you got, you got ch chill. Chill a little bit on the games, buddy. Chill. What? Mom says, is this true? Eric is in shock. Well, uh, yes. I'm very disappointed. I want you to quit until your grades improve. Sorry, Eric. Yeah, listen to your mom, buddy. She just walks out. Uh, oh man. My mom is very disappointed in me. I have to quit Roblox now. You could just take a break until your grades get back up. My online friend will be so upset. Meanwhile, in game. Hey, I have something to tell you. Dragon Master says, what is it? My mom is forcing me to quit. Dragon Master, please don't. Just sneak onto your laptop. Bad influence. No, she'll find out. Dragon Master says, so? Oh my. She'll get me in so much trouble. I'm already failing classes because of Roblox. Whoa, Eric. You better not quit. I know your address anyway. Uh, what? You do? Yo, is Dragon Master a hacker? Says address. Okay, okay, geez, I won't quit. Yo. What happened to him? He used to be so nice. I spent valuable time playing with him. And this is what I get in return? The next day. Give me Robux. I don't have much left. Oh no. Go buy some then, idiot. Make sure it's 1,000 Robux. Yo, Dragon Master is like, not nice anymore. I don't want to sit beside you, you mean? You might take Robux out of my pocket. There you go, I just gave it to you. Good, I'm gonna change my avatar. After spending the Robux, Eric bought him. Do you like it? Uh, yeah, it looks great. Oh no, I really don't want that to happen. Wait, oh, they're at lunch. Wait, Cooper, is everything okay? You're acting a bit strange this week. Nothing, it's fine. You should tell them that someone knows your address. You sure? Yep, it's all good. Eric, you gotta talk, buddy, at home. What's wrong, Eric? Nothing. 
Eric, you should really, really, really uh, tell them what's going on right now. Uh, tell us, sweetie. We're your parents. Fine. You promise not to get mad? I'll see. Well, you know how you told me to quit Roblox? I told my online friend that, and he started to threaten me. Now he bullies me every day, and I don't know what to do. Thanks for letting us know, Eric. I'm not mad at you. I'll contact the police if this issue escalates. That's what the dad says. Mom, for now, you can block him. Eric, thank you so much. After that, Eric was able to spend more time studying and improving his grades. His parents allowed him to play Roblox again due to his commitment to school, and he never saw his cyber bully again. There it is. Always stop bullying as soon as possible to avoid the problem arising. Let's go, Eric. That was awesome. If you enjoyed that one, make sure to check out this video here. But don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!